Well, let's see what we got in the bag today. Oh, Gen 1 Glock, single pin. Eh, not bad. Let's try this gun. Let's try this gun today. No magazine. So this one's a Grendel P10 380, made by George Kelgren, who brought over the Tech 9 and then the Tech 22. Next came Grendel and the PMR third and the P30 and the P12, and this is the P10 without any kind of magazine. Instead, it uses stripper clips. So let's take inside, take a look inside of this box and see what we got. That's rare, but this is super rare. <laughs> That's the yeah. stripper clip thing that goes on it. Wow. You know the Keltex? Yeah. This is the same guy, but the company before Keltec was around. Okay. It's called Grendel. They made a P30, a 22 Magnum, 30 round magazine yeah. back in the day. Yeah. That was that company. Okay. And yeah, that, what, a 9 or 380? It's a 380. Okay. And then they made the P12. So if this is a rare pistol to find, this is all but impossible. It took me a while to find this one. And this is two stripper clips, or five stripper clips, and the little attachment thing. So this is the uh, stripper clip and the little tool. So there's our little tool. There's the stripper clip. Now it uses uh, AR-15 or M16 stripper clips, so we'll be able to find these anywhere. This is the tricky part. And it's aluminum. I thought it was going to be plastic. So let's take some of this 380. Hopefully it'll work with the gun. And we'll feed it onto the stripper clip. Stays back after the last shot. Pretty cool. Not a bad group. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be nine in there. Only out at five yards, but pretty much standard distance. It's got a long double action trigger. And there must be some trigger slap. Really hurts my finger. And there's some snappy recoil to it.
Failure to feed on the eighth round again for some reason. That trigger pull is definitely tough. But not bad for a little group for uh, being able to see through the sights like I can through the camera here. Very cool. I think we'll load it up. So that thing fits right in that little groove there. Yeah. There we go. Wanna try it? Seems to shoot pretty decent. Got a pretty long trigger. <laughs> Did I hit it? You're shooting at that bottom right? Yeah. Yeah. Shooting around it. And I think there's a little bit of trigger slap too. My thing my trigger finger definitely felt it after I shot the thing. Yeah. That's nice. So he sold out there. Keltec bought him? No, I think he just, Grendel probably went out of business because their guns didn't work real well. Okay. They were innovative, but not popular. And then I think he decided Keltec was another run. Oh. Same guy who invented the Tech 9. He brought uh -huh. that over and then the Tech 22. And he's done a lot of neat guns. Yeah, I was going to say, those were all pretty good guns. I had a 1903. So my first question is, how do you get it unloaded? Once we're... Partially loaded. I think you just do this. Well, maybe not, because now this one didn't eject all the way. Well, it looks like you gotta shoot this guy, Joy.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.